Hello, I'm Dr. H. Christian Gunnarsson with Advanced Computer Cooling. Welcome to Freezer vs. Computer Round 1. The setup is simple. One large jar filled with a combination of antifreeze and water, one pump, and one temperature gauge. Place the jar into the freezer and pack it with insulation. Starting temperature is minus 1.1 Fahrenheit or minus 18.3 Celsius. The room temperature is 75.6. The clock is starting at zero. We are going 36 straight hours of no load, followed by 36 straight hours at 100% load. The CPU temperature gauge is 105.8. See the room and liquid temperatures fluctuating. On the back monitor, you see time flying by, and the red line is showing 0% load. All the while, we are staying below dew point to create maximum CPU efficiency and maximum CPU energy savings. Condensation is dripping off the uninsulated tubing going from the freezer to the CPU water block. It is protected by our patented water barrier system along with our patented wick protection system. After 36 hours at no load, the CPU temperature is still 105.8 rock solid. With 100% load, the red line is rock steady with no change. The CPU temperature has only increased 10% to 114.8. The idea is simple. Refrigerate the parts that make the heat. Is it cheaper to cool a 500,000 square foot data center or just the 40 or 50 square feet of the parts that make the heat? Everybody agrees that liquid cooling is the next logical step for data centers. Refrigerating the liquid is the next logical step from there. Dell states its Triton system saves 97% off of electrical costs with a PUE of 1.03. By comparison, our system is more effective. It's the only system that goes below dew point, allowing us greater electrical savings by removing fan, fan walls, and cooling towers. Data center temperatures can be raised 20 degrees with no loss of efficiency. You can increase component density and you have higher CPU efficiency along with longer component life due to less wear and tear on the system. These are core patents. They're flexible and scalable and can be used on any microprocessor where heat is an issue, from robotics, storage, military, or telecom. The patents have the ability to save billions of dollars a year in electrical costs and create billions of dollars a year in profit by building and selling products off of the core patents, along with other licensing possibilities. Stay tuned for round two, water chiller versus computer. The results are even more impressive. I'm Dr. H. Christian Gunderson. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.